All right, in this video, I'm going to do a review and a how to use of the Drill Doctor X500. Some of the things that we do here, actually most of them, uh, apply to the X750 as well. There's a few differences, and I'll cover them as we go through the video. Before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and you'll get notifications of when I do videos in the future. All right, a quick overview of the tool. There's a couple of things. One, there's the chuck, and there's a couple of different features about this chuck that I'll go over with in a minute. Um, of course, there's the port that lets you get to the diamond um, guide and sharpen your bits. This is the depth finder, if you will. That's what I like to call it. Now, they may call it something different. That lets you set the drill bit at the correct depth and angle that it needs to be. Um, this is a port actually this is a dust port in a sense because there's two things that you can do with this port one of them is get stuck actually this helps keep the dust in there and if you're so inclined you can actually hook up a vacuum cleaner hose to it which will allow you to vacuum out the uh, dust that's created as you sharpen your bits there is the capability to change the angle and this is where one of the differences between the 500 and the 750 is so right now if you see it's set for um, 118 by loosening this up you can set it to 135 and we tighten that up there that would be the 135 angle there is a little port that you can uh, remove this capture some of the dust but it'll let you get uh, vacuum in there and clean out some of the uh, dust. Of course, there's an on off switch um, One of the neat things is it comes with a tool and this tool allows you to access the um, Bit pull this off real quick And uh, and change it so if you notice to change the bit there is a Phillips head and then this and literally you use this tool to loosen it up while you hold the, bill, uh, the Phillips head, or you unscrew the Phillips head while you hold this, and uh, you can change the bit. Bits are about $20. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty interesting uh, little setup, and I'll go into how to use it in a second here. Now, before I go into how to use this, let me show you something. It does come with a booklet that I honestly think is like uh, Drill Bits 101, because it goes through a lot of different features of Drill Bits. The different types, um, what the edges are called. Um, one of the least uh, used features of this tool is you can actually change the uh, the chisel edge. Uh, I won't go into a lot of detail, but I do. I will show you how that's done. Um, key area is adjusting or figuring out what the angle drill bit you have is. Most of my drill bits are 118 degrees, and I'll show you real quick um, a good way of measuring this which is to use this tool. Um, I'll use a big fat drill bit. This is a, a split edge one. And what this is telling me is that this split edge is actually 118 degrees or close to it looking at it there. All right. I'm gonna do this one. This one is a 135 degree bit so it's a little bit different. Most of my bits are 118 but one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in a chuck we're going to tighten the chuck just enough to hold it snug. We want to be able to move it in and out, but we don't want it to fall out. And we're going to use this. Now, you want to make sure that this guide here, it matches up with the 118. And I mentioned about changing the angle of the chisel. The way you would do that is to line this up with one of these slots here rather than the 118 and uh, that'll give you a few degrees of difference in that. But we're just gonna do a straight sharpening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this grip. I'm going to set this in here. I'm gonna push this as far forward as I can. Now I wanna turn it so that these two fingers line up and grip the narrowest part of that drill bit. At that point, we wanna tighten the chuck a little bit, remove it, and Tighten it a little bit more. Now, we're going to turn this on. Uh, before I go through the sharpening process, I'm going to line up this index with the top of this. Now, this swivels uh, back and forth a little bit. It shouldn't. Let's tighten it up so it doesn't move. 
and um, as we turn I'm going to keep pressure forward on top and you're going to hear grinding noise and I'll keep doing this until I no longer hear grinding noise. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this started. show you what we've got on that drill bit it should be nice and sharp now now it no longer has a split point now to do a split point you use this port on the side and what you do is you line this index mark with a mark here and you literally push it in and I'll show you what happens when you do that You can see, hopefully, the drill bit um, lining up with that diamond bit. And uh, basically, it carves a little bit of a side angle on it to give you a split bit. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. So what the guide says to do is to push it until it won't go no further, then rotate it to the other side and do the same thing. And so what we have now is a freshly sharpened bit and uh, that has the, uh, the uh, split point. Alright, so now I'm going to do a masonry bit and uh, the way this is done is a little bit different. To measure it the first thing you do is get your bit in the chuck so that it's snug but not tight line up the flutes or the cutting edges with the lines on the chuck as you can see here then we're going to place it in here you do want to make sure you're in the 118 this is per their manual and we're going to push this chuck all the way in and tighten it like so double check that the cutting edges are lined up and we're going to do plunge, rotate, plunge. We could go a little more, but I'm happy the cutting tip is, the cutting edge is fine. Um, if I go a little more, it'll take it out to the edges, but I think we're good right here. And that was it. That was really simple. I mean, how long did that take? 20, 30 seconds? So, yeah. All right, so my overall recommendation is, is if you're an avid DIYer, use a lot of drill bits, um, especially the big fat ones like this. Uh, you definitely should invest in one. For the price, uh, I have saved myself a significant amount of money by sharpening my bits and not throwing them away. Uh, the smaller bits, man, not so much. The big, like this guy is probably a $30 bit now, so um, it, pay, it has paid for itself. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit share and like, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.